Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm glad that you are here today. I am Kelly and I will be reviewing The Wing Feather Saga by Andrew Peterson today. So I have the box set of The Wing Feather Saga with me by Andrew Peterson. This series deals with three siblings who are very unique. Janner's the oldest. Tink slash Kalmar is the middle son. And the youngest daughter is Lily. They are being um, raised by their mother and their grandfather. Their grandfather is a retired pirate who was injured in his former profession and has a wooden leg. And he is amazing. He is so much fun. The kids are so gifted in so many ways and yet they are so beautifully flawed in ways that remind us maybe of ourselves. So are the adults in the story. They are not perfect. They are not the perfect adults that just give all moral lessons and stand in the background. They are part of the story too. They make mistakes just like the children and they have triumphs just like the children do. They are very active parts of the story. I love the fantasy elements of the story. These kids and th everyone in the town they're from in the beginning, they are being persecuted by monsters. There are these creatures called the Fangs of Dang and they're kind of like lizard people and they're evil. And the evilness of some of the characters that are monsters in the story remind us of the evils that can exist in the world that we live in. The story is one of sacrifice. It's one of putting what's good for others ahead of yourself when it's necessary to do so. I think that it's really good to emphasize being giving, being open to understanding that your preconception of someone could be wrong. It deals with overcoming shame from the wrongs that you have done all in a fantasy world. When it starts to get too hard, when it starts to get too serious, when you start to feel like it's maybe getting too sad, Andrew Peterson throws in something that makes you laugh and makes you feel a sense of whimsy in the magical world. But the story is about something bigger than us. It's about a world where you have to live for the greater good. And I think that's why this is good for children, but it's so entertaining for adults. It definitely went above and beyond what I expected from it. I will say that for some younger children, it could be too intense. So just go carefully with little ones. My seven-year-old was okay with it, but there are some scary moments. And there were times where the children are separated from adults and are dealing with very intense things on their own, which definitely propelled the story forward and really showed that they had to figure out how to do the right thing. But I can see how it could definitely be very frightening for some younger audiences. I really just love how the author made me evaluate truth and made me think of what was good in this world with his stories. I am very torn about the last book, but now having waited a little bit after finishing before doing this review of all four books, I think it was the perfect ending. And it shows us that there is still hope. Well, I hope that if you have a desire to read a really good middle grade fantasy series, you will pick up the Wing Feather Saga. I hope that you read a lot and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.